Now, my next guest knows all about the importance of supporting local sports clubs. She was 12 years old when she began her career with the Tunbridge Athletics Club. 22 years later, she became a double Olympic champion. Please welcome Dame Kelly Holmes. <laughs> I mean, you did start very, very young. Take us back to when you first started. What were things Gosh. like for you when you first started? Um, yeah, I was very lucky. Our school was really um, hot on sport, so I had a brilliant PE teacher, Debbie Page, who actually still is a PE teacher there, gosh, um, <laughs> at, at the school I was at. And she inspired me to go to local athletics clubs. So I started um, in Tunbridge Athletics Club when I was 12 years old. And it was actually really good because there was a lot of young people that were taking part in sport for the fun of it uh, initially. And then clearly, as you progress, you kind of then have a focus, you want to do a bit more. And, and, and I have to say, you know, without uh, coaching, in clubs, yeah. you wouldn't have international sports stars. Uh, they are the people that give up their time, their energy, their commitment to help people like myself with a dream succeed. And then, of course, at 18, you went off to join the army for four years. You came back to athletics when you were, what, like 22? I was actually in the army for nine and a half years. Oh, were um, you? Yeah, and I joined the army when I was 18, uh, but I came back into international athletics when I was about 22, 23. Yeah. Mm. And, and, and now, although we say you're retired, this lady oh, never, nice. never stops. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Do you? I no. mean, <laughs> After your two Olympic gold medals, you decided to retire and now you're... Uh, you've got your own uh, legacy trust. So tell us a bit about that one. Yeah, I have. I mean, I've always been involved with grassroots sports and helping young people succeed. And I actually got a, a, a grant from uh, Sports Aid when I was very young. Um, so that's one of the, the importance, really. Of... Yeah, because really, you know, um, when, when you're younger, you're relying essentially on your parents, guardians or family members to support that, yeah. that journey and ambition. So when I came back into athletics, um, I mean, I was, you know, in a full-time job, so I was able to fund myself. Absolutely. Um, but what I've realised is, uh, after retiring, there's so many young people out there that could benefit from what sport brings. And for me, sport's always been my life. It's made me who I am today. You know, you, you learn so much about yourself, um, your determination, the discipline, mm. being able to communicate with people, and actually that's the hook. And so, for me, I started my um, trust at Dame Kelly Holmes, which is actually utilising the skills of other retirees tired sports people like right. myself to uh, deliver programs for young disadvantaged young people that we use sport again as the hook yeah. um, of having a role model in front of them and actually say you know you can have ambition in life if you believe it yourself well one of your role mo models is actually here tonight as well of course <laughs> Tessa Sanderson but in the meantime let's uh, give a very warm thanks to Dame Kelly Holmes <laughs> Well, we've got some bingo winners from our second game of bingo on the line. So to help me reveal the numbers is our Olympic champion, Kelly Holmes. What a lovely hostess you make. How lovely. <laughs> right, um, let's uh, speak to somebody on line four. Who's there? Hello, line four. Hello, it's Hayley. Hello, Hayley. Where are you phoning from? I'm calling from Sutton Ward in Essex. Oh, lovely. You're an Essex girl. Yeah. Good. Big hello to Irene, by the way. Oh, lovely. Yes, we'll do all that. What have you won so far? Ten pounds. Oh, good. Now, what number would you like? You've got lovely um, Kelly here who's going to give you a hand. Which number would you like? I'd love number two, please. Number two, Kelly, turn it to the it. You just <laughs> press it down. Oh, she's quite strong. Oh, my oh. lord. <laughs> to Cyprus. How about that? That'd be great. I'm getting married in October. That's my honeymoon sorted. Well, how about that? Huge congratulations. Thank you very much. Well done, Hayley. Congratulations to you. Let's say hello to line five. Who's on line five? Hi. Hello. hello. Who's that? Maureen. Hello, Maureen. Where are you calling from? London. Hello, London. Right. Um, what have you won so far? Ten pounds. Ten pounds, okay. What number would you like? Number six. Oh, number six, Kelly, number it's six, right next right to me. You. Okay. Oh, oh, you've got yourself oh, really? a VIP movie screening. <laughs> Does that sound like the sort of thing you like, Maureen? Never done anything like that before, some well, of you. Well, there's a first for everything, isn't there? There is. 
Well, congratulations. Uh, thank you very much for calling. Let's go to line three. Who's on line three? Hello, it's Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Devon. What have you won so far? I've won £10. Oh, hooray. What number would you like? Uh, number nine, please. Oh, number, number nine. nine. Okay. Here you go, Kelly. Oh, you've got, a, you've got yourself a mountain bike. Thank you very much. I would think that's quite handy for Devon. It is, yeah, thank you very much. Do you ride a bike? Well, you do now. Oh, we do now, yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much to call, uh, for calling and well done to those winners. But don't worry.